Hey guys, it's been a while since I've come to you and I, I'm sorry for that. I've had a lot going on in personal life, but I wanted to bring you a quick video on this new Hyla EST. This is the newest model from Hyla. Um, I acquired two of these and I am selling them both. One is a demo, this one is in particular is a demo unit that was used. And I've got a brand new one in the box on eBay right now, but I wanted to go over some of the upgrades that they came along with. Um, some okay, some not okay. Um, if you go back on my channel, I've got an older video of the Hyla back. Um, I did a comparison between the Rainbow, the Hyla, and then a, a, a Delphin. Um, great little unit. It's not as big as the Rainbow. Uh, Rainbow's got a new model, the SRX out right now. I've not had an opportunity to play with that yet. Looking forward to doing that. Uh, I understand that there are some awesome upgrades on this, but the EST is a little, a little machine, not as much power. If you're used to a machine with a lot of extra power, like Rainbow or whatever, this is not gonna be the machine for you. These things are made in uh, Sweden. They've got a two dealers here in the United States that sell door to door, just like any other vacuum dealer out there. Um, awesome little power head. This is a remake Wessel Work. Um, great power head with the squeegee on the back. I don't know if you could see that. Pretty much edge to edge cleaning on this. Got two little glide wheels on the front. Um, great power head. This one has two headlights on it, LED lights. Uh, and again, you have to press the release button to put the handle down. That is that. One of the things that I do not like on this model, these hoses now are color coordinated, the lock buttons to unlock. Press the button. There is no height adjustment, which I do not like. The older models had a stainless steel wand with an adjustable. You cannot do that. So if you're a short person trying to vacuum, you're pretty much screwed. This still has the timer function on this. So when you turn this machine on, now I've already got water in it. This has the separator, which you're not supposed to have to ever clean. These things are pressed together and stuck on the motor shaft, um, which is nice. You've got two LED lights in here. You'll see that when I turn it on. Water basin holds, I believe it's four and a half quarts in this. The nice thing about this is the water level comes above the intake, air intake. Um, make sure it locks. I was playing around with it the other day and I lifted it up and the whole motor popped off. It's got a click. When you press the power button, it turns it on low. When I insert a power hose, I see. This is the timer function. I think it's 20 minutes. If you just turn the button on, it'll run for 20 minutes and it cut itself so off. Basin, just like any water vac, pops on and off with the with the, our locks on, so it's not gonna fall off. Um, other than that, I am gonna. You've got standard tools, a knockoff uh, floor combo tool. Um, I'm not a big fan of these. I like the standard tool brushes. I'm not gonna open this pack up. You've got a standard attachment for upholstery. These can also be used for carpet cleaning. There's actually a, an attachment that goes on the back of this called the uh, Nimbus, which is a shampoo attachment that you can use for carpeting and on bare, bare floor tile. Um, you've got a dust brush, a stiff, stiffer dust brush, a crevice tool, holster tool, and an inflator tool in this little pack. Also, it comes with this is two non-electric uh, wands. You've got a non-electric hose. You've also got the muffler. I call it the muffler. Quite the machine now when you're running just for air. On the back of the machine, you've also got an exhaust port. You can literally use this thing to blow up inflatables or unclog a drain, whatever you want to do. I've never used the machine for that before, but it's available. And that's where your Nimbus attaches to the back. So it's basically a tank that fits around the machine. Hold your water and your shampoo. But I'm going to do a quick demo just to show you guys what the power head looks like. You've also got a remote on the, 
on the uh, handle. And this one actually, once it's connected, it actually turns the machine on and off. test on this Hyla EST. Kind of get some true numbers as far as water lift, air lift kind of goes. So we see it's not a high airflow machine at all. I mean rainbows at one we're barely moving on the scale. As far as some of pressure. We're about a 60. So not a high airflow machine at all. 